hello folks. Here's our PSD image, which we will be converting into HTML5 web page. So let's start. First off, create a new folder on the desktop and name it Project New. Inside that folder make two new folders and name them XHTML and PSD respectively. Then go inside the XHTML folder and create one more folder and name it as common. Now open that common folder and create four new folders and name them CSS, Images, Fonts and JS respectively. Remember all names should be in small letters only. In the CSS folder you need to place your style CSS file, the font files will come inside the fonts folder, the JavaScript for iFix will come inside the JS folder and images should be placed inside the images folder. Now open Adobe Dreamweaver and create a new HTML5 file and save it inside the XHTML folder as index.html. Now create a new CSS file and save it in the CSS folder as style CSS. Once both these files are saved, write down the standard code in your CSS file. Now move back to the HTML file and add the project name inside the title tag, and link your style CSS and JS file using the link tags. Now launch Adobe Photoshop version CS6 or lower and open the main PSD or image file and start separating the three required images using the magic wand tool, and save them to the images folder. Once the images are saved, move on to CSS and define the font family and font size of the web page inside the body property and also define the width margin of the class of wrapper.
then go back to the HTML5 file and make a div and give it a class of wrapper, which we defined inside the CSS. Now let's define our main section in the CSS then go back to HTML and make a new section tag and give it an ID of main. Now it's time to measure the padding of the images from the top, right, bottom, and left side. Once it's done, define it in the CSS. Now we should write the heading inside the HTML using the H1 tag, and mention its font size, line height, and color code in the CSS. But here you also need to use text align property to place it in the center. Once again it's time to go back to the HTML and write the unordered list tag, under which we will be making three list tags to place all our images on the HTML one by one. Now let's define the unordered list and list tags inside the CSS. as we have successfully placed all our images and defined their position using the CSS, we can now define the anchor tag inside the CSS. But did you notice we forgot to set the margins in our list tag that we have defined in our CSS? So let's do that now. Oops. We have three list tags in our HTML, but we have only described one in the CSS, so let's add two more list tags using their class name, which we will also define in the HTML one by one.
Now we are all done, so let's use the W3C validation service to check our HTML and CSS for errors. Congratulations, our code has passed the validation test. And now you can celebrate your success. Thank you for watching, goodbye.